As cattle feeding has grown in North Dakota, we are seeing new investment in feeding facilities and renovations for expansion and compliance. Open lots with runoff containment ponds predominate, but there has been some confinement hoop barns put in use. Advantages are the ability to locate in environmentally sensitive or space limited farmsteads to provide better wind protection, snow protection, summer shade, high animal performance, and greater ease in handling cattle. This relatively new barn is 300 feet long by 42 feet wide, divided with a 12 foot feeding pad and a fence line bunk, leaving a 30 foot resting area. An eave covers the bunk with the barn divided midway with a watering pad and fountains, resulting in two feeding pens with 150 head capacity each, allowing one foot of bunk and 42 square feet per calf. It's constructed with cement pony walls, I-beam supports, truss pipe rafters, and covered with a tarp with an open ridge and a roll-up side curtain. Similar structures are available with square post and plank construction in widths from 36 to 50 feet and lengths up to 500 feet. Manuring bedding management is critical. The feeding alley is scraped weekly or as weather allows. Bedding is blown in with a bale processor or unrolled in pens frequently to keep dry. The resting area is typically cleaned between feeding groups. Dependent on location preparation, construction materials, design and labor, costs can vary from less than 400 an animal space to over double that. Reported cattle performance and health has been good. Often initial experience with a first hoop barn leads to expansion with additional barns in the future.